Cena's Corner. What's going on, everybody? Okay, today we're going to talk about a program called Air Server. If you've ever wanted to mirror your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch to your Mac without wires and the aid of Apple TV, this is the way to go. And this is the program for you. It has been re-engineered for iOS 6 and for iPhone 5, which means it's able to take full capabilities of doing 1080p HD mirroring and makes this program faster than its previous versions. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how this works. Uh, go ahead and pull up a screen here um, that's empty so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, the first thing is if you have a program that is already set for AirPlay, it means AirPlay is built into the app. All you have to simply do is start the program. So I'm going to load up here a video, um, one of my older play videos, a rock band on Jasmine here. And we'll take a quick look. I'll go ahead and fast forward through a great part of it. Hit start. And there you have it right there. Okay, folks, the amazing thing is that is straight right from my iPhone to my computer. Hit done on that, and that is it. Okay, so they just saw a video come right from my iPhone to the computer one-to-one. -one. There was no lag in between that. Okay, now, so the, the question is, so that is if it's built into the app. So now the question becomes, what happens if you have apps that does not have AirPlay built in? Well, that's easy, and I'm going to show you how that works, and I'll show you how to connect all of this. In the settings, you can just hit what's called mirroring, and it pops up like this. This is my iPhone 5 screen, which brings me to how you set this up. So what you do is you download um, the file or the program from the Air Server site. And when you do, you just double tap the home screen so that it pops up like that. And then you just go over to the far um, right, and then you tap on the AirPlay icon. That brings back up this screen. Then you look for your Mac in the name list, and you just select it, and then you turn mirroring on. When you do that, you get this right here. So now it shows your whole entire phone. So we can scroll through my phone here, and as I'm scrolling, this is what you're seeing. Okay, no lag in between. That's just me scrolling right through the phone. All right, so then the other cool thing is, so let's say we want to bring up a game. We'll bring up Infinity Blade right here. It's going to take the orientation of how the game is set. Now, I have the iPhone 5, so you see the two black bars because this, this app is not yet optimized for the 5. So that has nothing to do with the program. Now, let me show you another cool feature about this. Let's say that you think that this is too bright on your screen or it's too bright on the phone, and you're going to use this to play. Because you can just use this to play the game. You don't, don't need to look at your iPhone to play this. Well, we can change all that within this program. I'll go right here just by moving my mouse to pop this up, click on the settings button, and you see post-processing. On my left-hand side is what it looks like now, and on my right side is what it will look like when I am done. So let's just look at the brightness. I can turn the brightness down. You see that? Just turn it down, turn it up as high as I want it to go without doing anything to my phone. Same with sharpness. We could turn the sharpness of it up or down. So the post processing is built right into this. I can flip it horizontally if I want to do that. I can flip it vertically if we want to do that. Uh, we can uh, adjust the FPS rates. You see that right here on my left hand corner in the green is counting my FPS. So I can tell how many frames per second this game is running just off of this program. All right, let's get out of Infinity Blade here. Just want to show you guys the post-processing on that. Now, the other thing that makes this uh, program so fantastic is not only can I mirror one iPhone or iPad, I can mirror two at the same time. So let me bring up my wife's 4S here and show you how that works out. Now, on the left is my wife's iPhone 4S, and on the right is my current phone, my phone, iPhone 5. As you can see, the iPhone 5 screen is reflective of what the iPhone 5 screen truly, truly is, which is now 4 inches. And you can see that the um, 
iPhone 4S screen is true also to its size. Now, uh, to show you how this works, I don't have, I only have one or two games that's the same as my wife's on here. So we'll just pull up Words with Friends. Now, I know this sounds really funny, but if we really wanted to sit side by side with each other uh, and play Words with Friends against each other, I guess we can here, right here, um, because of the fact that now I can see it right here on the screen. So she can sit back and look at her screen. I can look at mine. If But, you know, Words with Friends, that kind of work. But I'm just saying this is what you can do. Any game you have that's like this, you can put this on the screen and you can run side by side. If you want to run Temple Run or whatever the case is, you can certainly do that. All right. So just to show you, that's how that works out right there. So we can mirror two devices at one time. All right. Now we showed you that. I'll get rid of my wife's phone simply by just um, turning mirroring off will turn it off. Or I can simply hit iPhone on that. And that will also turn it off. But what happens is, too, is you can leave the Air Server program running in the background of your computer. You can always leave this set on the Mac that you currently have hooked up to it. The only thing is, is if you have an app that does run sound uh, over AirPlay, because you don't always get video, you can get sound, it will revert and come through your, your computer if you don't have that turned off. So I'm just going to turn um, mirroring off of hers that gets rid of her phone all together. Now let's look back at mine here and I'll show you a couple more things. So I showed you Infinity Blade on that. Let's go ahead and check out, just so you can see how crisp it looks. We'll look at Temple Run real quick. I was in the middle of a game here. So I'll just pick up right here and I'll play for a few seconds so you can see how good this is and that it is one to one and there is no lag. As you can see how clear this is, you can read everything on this screen for Temple Run, even my next objective. So I'll go ahead and resume here. As I'm hitting it on the screen, folks, is what you're seeing popping up on my computer monitor right now. All right, guys, once again, there's a little demonstration of Temple Run. All right, as you can see, that was straight one-to-one. -one. There was no lag in this screen. This is going straight over Wi-Fi. You do have to have Wi-Fi to be able to do this. Um, also, if you look at the top um, right, right here where my mouse pointer is, you can see that it does have an AirPlay symbol letting me know that my phone is currently being mirrored. But once again, I can do whatever. I can open up a folder, and that's just, just opened up just by me tapping it. I can scroll through. You can see everything right here in your phone. If you have something that you're doing that is a landscape orientation, it will automatically switch to landscape mode for you. Um, so... In the case of Twitter, this one uh, on my phone does not turn to landscape, but if it did, it would. But just show you Twitter. Look how crystal clear Twitter looks right here, right now. You can read everything right off of my sh of, of the screen that you're looking at. Just beautiful 1080p high def uh, mirroring, taking advantage of the iPhone 5. All right, so I've showed you video. I've showed you some games. So let's go ahead and turn this off and we'll talk a little bit more about what it's going to cost you to get into a setup like Air Server. First of all, guys, as you can see, this program is going to be veered by just about everybody who matters in the technology world when it comes to mobile devices, phones, tablets, whatever. Wired, Macworld, iLounge Plus, Mac, the Wall Street Journal even has talked about Air Server. Now, the thing is, with a program like this, how is all set up to be you would think it would cost you a ton of money well again let me tell you it works for the ipad 2 the ipad mini the iphone 4s the iphone 5 all your current models of phones this is going to work for so let's take a look the cool thing about this is for the mac and also for the pc so you are not limited if you do not have a mac at all if you look at the bottom where it says, what do I need to run Air Server? 
It tells you directly that it runs on iPad, iPhone 3GS or later, iPad Touch, second generation running the latest iOS, but then it tells you that mirroring is only available from iPad 2, iPad Retina, iPad Mini, iPod Touch 5, iPod, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, an iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and Mountain Lion. So you can only mirror if you have those devices. Okay, but and uh, somewhere I did read it also works with Android phones as well if you're running certain programs on that. All right. But let's talk about the price rule here real quick. They're going to give you a seven day free trial. That's one Mac that can use it for seven full days, fully featured version. There is no watered down version. You're going to get everything you would get if you bought the program for seven days. If you decide you like it, for fourteen ninety nine, you can run five Macs on that. No expiration. So if you've got your Mac at home, you've got your Mac at school, you've got your MacBook Pro, and you've got your mom and your sister want to run it, five Macs can run this at the same time for fourteen ninety nine. dollars No expiration. Same with the PC. If you are a student, you can get it for eleven ninety nine. dollars You can run three Macs on that. Again, no expiration for both. And if you are a commercial person, that means you are a school, universities, or businesses, you can get it for $3.99. Only runs on one computer, and you can have this program. So for as little as $4, you can run Air Server, and you can mirror your device directly to your screen. This is uh, a great, for me, because I do a lot of videos on my iPhone uh, for full screen and things of that nature. And it's a pain to have to set up my camera every time to do this. With this, I don't need it now. I can just mirror it directly to my computer and I can capture my screen. Bam, video is done. All right, guys. So once again, this is Air Server. It is going to allow you to mirror your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad directly to your Macintosh or PC computer without the aid of wires or Apple TV. I want to thank the Air Server team for allowing me to review this application. I really appreciate it. It is a tremendous app. You guys know how to reach me, Cena at Cena'sCorner.com, or you can reach me at Twitter at Cena5401. All right, guys, I hope you guys will at least go out and try Air Server. I will leave their links in the bottom of this, uh, of this review. And once again, guys, I thank you for listening. Peace, love. Keep rocking out. And I'm going to catch you guys the next time.